bong water. You'll need to approach Chateau Cousteau on foot. Why the hell can't I just take the whole damn place out from the air? This infernal city is riddled with sewers. Destroy the chateau and these so-called scientists would escape below like so many rats. We'd never pick them out from among the legions of French revolutionaries and hideously scarred opera composers. And who knows what secrets Cousteau will have told them. Fine, fine. I'll mingle, have a couple crepes, and, and then tear Cousteau limb from limb. First we'll need to get to Chateau Cousteau. I've marked its location on the radar. Go there and await further instructions. Entertainer. Cortex scan the guests. Chapeau means hat. Oof means egg. It's like we have a different word for everything. Just stop stupid, I have something good to say. I'm missing the Rockford files for this. Germans are one thing, but it's the Belgians that really piss me off. My ennui is so strong that I can barely breathe. My parents hate the Germans, except those two with the large cats who do that delightful show in Las Paradiso. I do not care what Pierre says. Pig Latin is not one of the Romance languages. I'd resolve to make passionate and sweaty love to the next person I meet at the cafe. I cannot wait to see Marcel Marcel Fevor. He is such an artist and so live. What the hell was that all about? A mime. How typical. So that's Crusoe's little warm up act. Not a bad idea, actually, with this crowd of nerds. Those guys make James Grandy look like Coyote Bong Water. And this gesticulating mute, he'll be allowed on stage. Yeah, right next to Crusoe. He's my ticket to revenge. I'm next. I'm next. <laughs> Excellent. Now take the stage. Your ebullient personality should be more than enough to drive away the scientists. Au contraire, mon frère. Huh? No way I'm showing my face dressed like this. Even if it's not my face. Oh, great Ark Voodle. Perhaps you should just wear a bucket on your head. Hey, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> More brains. Mesdames et Messieurs, I have incredible news for you all tonight. Something that will usher in a new age for mankind and for our Mother Earth. But before we begin, it is my pleasure to present the master of the silent poetry of the Mimodram, Marcel Marcel. Hiya, 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 folks. It's really great to be here. I'm lying. Rimshot, ha. Huh? Seriously, I've never played a room full of people smarter than me. And tonight's no different. But um pum huh? They're laughing! Not insulting enough! Shh, I'm just getting warmed up. Hey, you're a great crowd. You, sir, where are you from? Berlin! I can tell, cause your hair's parted in the middle. Ha <laughs> ha. Eek benign, wild and crazy guy. <laughs> But, uh, seriously. 
I was in Berlin once. I had Siamese twins, one on each side of the wall. Would have been the greatest night of my life, but I kept going soft at Checkpoint Charlie. <laughs> he knows what I'm talking about. That guy that got the Nobel Prize, he thought it was a bell prize until he tried to ring it. Get it? No bell, nothing. <laughs> I thought you guys were smart. You're a bunch of scientists, right? So tell me. What's with this swine flu? Can red wine get it or only white? Yeah, that was a stinker when I stole it. I got it off the bathroom wall at the Manure Hall of Fame. <laughs> and what about our host, Henry Crouton, what's his name? You know, little guy, smells like seafood but won't eat it because fish are his only friends. He's got a big ego, I gotta hand it to him. The guy's got fantastic taste, I mean... He surrounds himself with only the finest imported idiot. These are free jokes, people. Free! So tell me! He hired me, didn't he? These are free jokes, people. Free! So tell me! Have you seen these French women? Probably not, but why limit to just French women? The whole bunch of you couldn't get a woman in the sack if you dunked yourselves in chocolate and rolled in hundred dollar bills. <laughs> Can you guys see anything through those cola bottles? <laughs> I'm not kidding, but seriously. They wear so much perfume it rains in their armpits. Crystal, we did not come here to be insulted to this degree. S'il vous plaît, I have important news for you. A new world awakes, truly. Keep your utopian advances to yourself. In 30 years, empiricism will be overrun by irrational religious pseudoscience anyway. Idiot! You were supposed to entertain them, not chase them away. Who are you? The space creature. You've been interfering with my plans for some time. I'll bet. It was you who sent the Nexos to Paradiso to rouse me out, right into the arms of the Lunarians. Come on? Whatever are you talking about, space creature? Don't play coy with me, Crusoe. You knew the Lunarians would make me destroy Frank O'Dine's Sunnywood holdings. And destroy my dream for clean, renewable energy for the entire world. Cost my shareholders hundreds of millions? To what end, space creature? Pourquoi? To rake in the insurance dough. Enough to build all the Nexo cloning facilities you wanted. If you truly believe this most outlandish fantasy, why are we enemies? We should be friends. No? I became a liability when I sunk your ship full of cloning machines in Shenlong and beat that Saxon punk of yours to a pulp. I have many business contacts around the world. I cannot speak to the alleged underworld deal. Cut the crap! I know you're part of a conspiracy to destroy my race. Your biggest mistake was coming after me. You put the hook in too deep, baby. And now you're gonna pay. I deny every world creature of space. And you are a fool to approach so near the Lord of the Sea. Ah! Mm. That bastard stabbed me with a friggin' fish! Crypto, you have company! More Frankodyne guards!
generous donation to the Save the Huron DNA Foundation. Now is your chance! Strike while the enemy is vulnerable! Yeah. 